gonna show you guys how to find the domain of a uh, rational function when you have a root on the bottom. So a couple things just to remind you about uh, when we're dealing with domain is, uh, you remember domain is for all the values that are, are gonna be defined for your function. So remember, when you have a function, you have an input value and you have an output value. And if you put in an input value and you don't get an output value, then your function is not defined um, at that value. So a classic example I can say is, you know, if I had three over x, all right, well, what if x equals zero? So therefore, I would plug in a zero in for x, and I would have three divided by zero. We can't divide a number by zero, so therefore, that's undefined. So we say that x cannot equal zero. Um, so we'd say the domain for this problem would be all numbers except for zero. And the same thing can be true for the square root of a number. If we're going to take the square root of a number, we can take the square root of all numbers as long as they're positive. But once we take the square root of a number and we say x, let's say x is less than or equal to zero, well, you can't take the square root of, uh, if, I pick it, if I put in a number that's less than zero, I can't take the square root of that number and get a real answer. So therefore, your domain is going to be, it can't be all numbers that are not less than or equal to zero. So let's take a look at how we can apply that thinking to our function here. So here I have a function one over the square root of x minus three. And what I need to do is I need to determine what is the domain. So what are the possible numbers that I can plug into this function and get an output value? Well, rather than trying to think of all the numbers that I can plug in to get an output value, let's think of all the numbers that I can plug in that are not gonna give me a value. What I mean by that is Let's figure out what values are going to equal zero. Because if I know a value is going to equal zero, it cannot be a part of my domain because therefore the bottom of my fraction will be zero and that will be undefined. So what we're going to do is we're going to say the square root of x minus three, which is my denominator, equals zero. So let's figure out which values of x make this equal to zero. So to solve for this, square it. So therefore, x minus 3 equals 0, and then I just add 3. So that means x equals 3. And let's go and test this real quick. If I plug in a 3 in here, I get 3 minus 3, which is 0. The square root of 0 is 0. So therefore, when I use 3, for the value 3, my function is not defined, meaning it's not part of my domain. So my domain. is going to be all numbers that are, except for x, cannot be equal to 3. Now, we're not done yet, all right? But so far, what I've learned is it's all numbers except for x cannot equal 3. Now, the next thing we need to look at is when we're looking at a radical, we say, we also said that it has to be, the x has, to, whatever's inside the radical has to be greater than or equal to 0. It can be equal to zero, except for this case, it's on the rational, so it can't be equal to zero. So I'm going to say the square root of x minus 3 has to be greater than zero. Usually it's greater than or equal to zero, but since it's on the bottom, it can't be equal to zero. So now we need to solve this equation, or inequality. So again, I do the exact same steps. Square it, square it, add 3. So this says x has to be greater than three. So let's see if that makes sense. So if I pick a number that's greater than three, let's say five. Five minus three is two. I can take the square root of two. Um, however, let's pick a number that's smaller than three. Let's pick one. One minus three is negative two. Therefore, it's gonna give us a negative number. So my domain is not actually all real numbers, and it can't equal three, so it's gonna be all numbers. So my domain, is just going to be all values that are greater than three. So that's how you find the domain uh, when you have a rational function with a root as the denominator.